Can you hear me? Alright, it's gonna get started here. Alright, thank you. How is the chat today? English. All right. Got it. All right, that's good. That's good, Moon. Welcome to my realm, located beyond both the time and space. It is well that thou art here. I am which I am that which humans call Arceus. Now, I wish to know thine appearance. Right, should I go male or female? Alright, I know just female as well. I was probably gonna choose that anyways. This is thy name. VG nine K. Yes. VG nine K. Soon thou shalt find thyself in the world strange to thee. A world inhabited by wondrous creatures that humans call Pokemon. Ouija 9K. The water. Yeah. Seek out all Pokemon and thou shalt find me once more. Alright. We'll do just that. Oh, fallen somewhere? A phone? No phones here. This is supposed to be a woman. Ola or something. But it looks like a Hawaiian shirt. Don't answer that. A lot of my, a lot of my questions will be rhetorical. Pokemon Legend of Arceus. Alright, yeah, if I mention your name and with a question, I'll ask a question I want answered. If I just ask a question, it's rhetorical. Oh, no, oh, do you do wake up, won't you? I missed something. Okay. Got uh Rowlet there. Uh Centricole and Oshawa, I see. Are you alive, my girl? Oh, hello. Got a helmet for. Oh, that's not a helmet, that's the hat or beanie, I think. You gave me quite the shock falling from the sky like that. But thank goodness you seem un unharmed. Who are you? I like you. I like to ask you the same. I mean, you fell out of the sky. You understand? Uh, come, come now. Who in the world does that? I know one person who does. Uh. I must say, your clothing, your clothing is unusual. 
You wouldn't happen to have an acquaintance in these parts, would you? Uh, I doubt it. I see. You seem to be in, in a bit of a pickle. Might I offer some directions? Do you have somewhere around here you could stay? No? So you don't know anyone here, and you don't even know where to spend the night. Well, in this proper pickle, this is the proper pickle indeed. Are you quite sure you'll be able to survive? Uh, somehow. I guess. I see. Well, no gentleman will abandon a person in such need. Thank you. Boom. Flish flash. Oh my, I completely forgotten. I had just caught up to these three runaway Pokemon when you tumbled out of the sky. It's almost as if they knew you'd appear here. Ah, but do you even know what Pokemon is? Of course I do. I got a shirt. Got Pokemon shirt for crying out loud. Um, my, that's a relief. Uh, though you fell from the sky, it seems you have on some common ground, eh? Yes. Well, these po these three Pokemon belong to me. Mysterious creatures they are. Oh yes. And what might your name be? Oh ho! You're called Luigi Nine K. That name has quite a ring to it. I imagine it must have. Lovely meaning. Oh, you know it. <laughs> um. Oh, oh, but I do apologize. I haven't, I, I haven't even introduced myself. My name is Leviton. I, I am something of a Pokemon professor. I'm something of a professor myself. That is to say, I'm a scholar seeking to deepen our understanding of Pokemon. Oh, blast and bother. My po darling Pokemon, why must you run away from me again? I'm terribly sorry, but do you think you could help me round them up? I beg you. Alright, sure. Let's, let's go. Wait, you three, wait! Alright, alright, Moon. I'll just call you Moon, is that, that alright? There's a glowing beeping object over there. Okay. Investigate. You found something that resembles a phone. It's probably your phone, but it's changed shape. You feel a strange power emanating from it. Message appeared on the screen. I have installed upon thee this arc phone and that mission. Seek out all Pokemon. Understandable. Alright. Can I dodge? Probably not yet. Alas, yet another mission. Or oh, sorry, yet another miss. Aha, I'm glad to see you Come to my rescue, my new friend from my new friend from the sky. I, cr I tried catching my little runaways by tossing some poke pokeballs their way, but I'm not the best at the sort of thing you see. I'd love to give you give you a go at it, but perhaps I should tell you a bit about these these three first. Now that that one is Rallet. Rallet can suppose synthesize like a plant, and apparently it battles us using its sharp feathers. That one over there is Cyndaquil. The fire burning on Cyndaquil's back will flare up whenever it is surprised on or a rate. Boom! 
I chose Cyndaquil when I played uh, Soul Silver, so I think I'll choose him. The Pokemon near the pond is Oshawott. I'm assuming you can find more of them later. Oshawott naps while falling on the water, and it, and it can battle using a shell like object on its belly. Like, uh, try and zoom in the uh, sounds. Oh my, I nearly forgot to cover the most crucial thing. How to go about catching Pokemon. Here you are, my girl. Pokeballs. Throw these at Pokemon to, go to catch them. You attain 50. Oh, 50. That can be enough? Sounds like a lot. Alright. Ah, but that won't be an next. That won't do it for an explanation, will it? I do apologize, let me be more thorough. Now, I've mentioned these Pokemon are strange, marvelous creatures. What's so strange about them, you ask? Well, each and every Pokemon is able to shrink down to its minuscule size. And that's where Pokemon Pokeballs come in. Pokeballs are a recent invention, you see. Throw one on the Pokemon and why the Pokemon will shrink down and fit inside the ball, comfy as can be. And with that, you've caught you've caught a Pokemon. Yeah, I got it. I got pretty much got it. I know we've just met, but I'm afraid I've no one to, else to turn to. Ah, uh, I'd be grateful if you could catch my three runaways. All right, we'll do that. Now the proper technique is to aim at the Pokemon, then let the ball, ball fly. It's quite simple, though that far be it from me to say so, I suppose, given my own dire lack of skill in this area. All the Pokeballs, hold down ZR to ready the Pokeball and take aim, alright. Moving around, ZR to throw, okay. I got it. I got this. Cyndaquil. You know, first person with that. I want. I want. Cyndaquil, where are you? There you are. There you are, buddy. You. Team. Nice. Oh, wonderful. We've caught a Pokemon. Seems you've cracked the knack for Pokemon catching business, Luigi and I K. I'm feeling I'll, I'll probably get pretty addicted to this. It's all a useful skill to have around here. Only two of my darling runaways left, left now. Still, this is most unusual. You don't seem fearful of Pokemon in the slightest. I can't. You can catch the other ones, right? The. Oh, oh, there they are. Okay. Oh. There you go. And... He rallets. I can hardly believe it, Re Region IK. Incredible. You know, many, many people fear to even approach Pokemon. Never mind catch them. Bravo indeed. There's one more to go. Let's wrap this up sharpish, shall we? Okay. Uh, where is Rowlet? Uh, I hear you. There you are. Yeah, got him. Yes, I uh, yes, I can. I'm afraid that can happen. Pokeball, Pokeballs are rarely, hardly 100% foolproof. Give it another girl, old girl. <laughs> okay. Stumbled on my words there. Nice. Thank you very much indeed. Oh, what a relief to have them all back. You see, the three Pokemon you have caught, caught have only just arrived at the village to help with our research. They just, they won't look. They won't yet listen to anyone. And as I mentioned, they bolted from the village almost as if we, you've come falling. 
But I must say, Ouija Nike, I just go with Ouija. But I must say, Ouija, I was taken aback by how how well you used to use Pokeballs. How is it you catch Pokemon so ably when you've only just arrived here? One can't help but think there's a reason you appear here and now. Seek out all Pokemon. The object is an arc phone, you say? What an odd device. Could it be guiding you somehow? If you indul indulge for a moment, there's something I'd like to share with you. You see, I have a dream to, dream to compile this region's first Poke complete record, record of its Pokemon. We in the field call, call such a catalog Pokedex. Yes, a proper Pokedex is a wonderful work of research, containing, de containing detailed records of all po the Pokemon to be found in the region. But in order to properly lock in a Pokemon, one must of course catch them. And therein lies the, ru the rub, I'm afraid. Pokeballs have only just been invented and not many people, not many have mastered the skill of using them. Enter you, a person with a clear talent for catching Pokemon. Your goal is to seek out every Pokemon and minus to ca have all these Pokemon caught. I, situation right for the teamwork, don't, don't you agree? Come now, what do you say? What shall we help one shall we help one another out, my girl? You convince me. Alright. Then whoever and, and from wherever you wherever you may be, I welcome you with open arms. We we have a Pokedex to complete. First things first, let's get these Pokemon back to the village. Then we'll sort out your lodgings and find you some proper clothes and a meal and all that. Follow me then. Onward to Jubilife Village. Alright, let's go. Alright, hopefully we can like get used to more a little more used to catching Pokemon on the way. Thank you for your tireless work keeping us safe, my good guardsman. This young lady has great assistance to me and my Pokemon, so I hope you'll forgive my my bringing her to the village for a bit. All right, welcome back, Dark welcome back, Moon. I'm liking it so far. Oh, I just started. This way, if you please. Jubal Life Village. It's come a long way thanks to the fine people at the... Whatever this is. This road we're on now is... Okay. I won't read this stuff then. Bother oh botheration, I have all I've almost forgotten. Okay, that's a weird way thing bothered. Uh I need to go and report that we successfully recovered recovered the escape Pokemon. Might I ask you to wait for me at this canteen? Alright, let's go. It's just past this bridge here, then to the left. The wallflower it's called. Alright. Your arc phone is beeping. Somehow it seems to know where you need to go next. Alright. I know how to use maps.
I'll be back. I need to grab some water. Alright, I'm back. Here. Alright. Well now, you are you are awfully suspicious. Any Wallflowers for Galaxy Team Folk only. We don't have seats for outsiders. Move along. Damn. Hello. Who in the world are you? And what's that bizarre get? get? That bizarre garbage you're wearing. A Pokemon would slice right through those flimsy excuses for clothes. For you to get in here, someone must have vouched for you. Was it Fred's of Leventon? You, you two know each other? He's from a region a long way off. Not the most reliable sort though, letting a Pokemon run off and get give him the slip and all. Three more of them got Got away just a while ago. If I hadn't been resting up for after some Pokemon drug, drug me with a move called Thunder Shock, I I've had crawled him for sure. The professor, well, unfortunately, it's just as Ray says. I'm the clumsy sort of fellow, to put it mildly. Heck, but everything will be quite all right now. Luigi here has agreed to help us with our Pokedex. Seems pretty upset about that. As in, she's going to join the Survey Corps? What makes you think that's a good idea? We can't just take in any misfit who wanders out to the wilderness. I'll allow it. Yeah! Assuming the individual can contribute to the Survey, Cor survey Corps, that is. I am the captain of this Galaxy Team Survey Corps. You, you may call me Celine. How's that pronounced? Celine, Celine. Uh, I'll just go Celine. Professor Leventon has told me how you helped his help secure his Pokemon with when they slipped his control, and now it seems. He would like us to feed and house you in exchange for your ongoing labor. That's fair to me. Hmm, you look to be 15 or so. Quite old enough to help to go work for your keep. But we can't simply take on a stranger who wanders in, in among us. Without any idea of their skills, skills or origins. Tomorrow, we shall see if you can prove yourself worthy. Oh, a, a most reliable, most reasonable decision, Captain. Now, w would you care to join us for a meal? I'm sure you've got plenty of questions for our visitor. Amogus. Ouija is sus. Everyone in town like, this guy is sus. That's quite all right. I prefer to eat alone, so I might just, so I might appreciate my meals without distraction. Aloof, as always, I see. Well, no matter. The rest of us can share a meal and some pleasant conversations, then, eh? Benny, old chum. 
The usual potato mochi, if you please. Make it uh, make it for three today. Wonderful stuff, Benny. Much obliged. Your potato mochi never failed to please. Potato mochi. Sounds so good. Where where did you find this stranger in the first place, Professor? Ah well, you know that great hole in the sky, the one people call this space time rift. Our new friend fell right out of it. Was that a joke? Come now, I'm a scientist. My job is to observe the observe and explain any and all phenomena. I concern myself only with facts. Facts and knowledge. Now you already know there are many Pokemon here in the Hisui region. Sure, they're all over the place. In the grass, in the forest, in the ocean. It's up to us to the, in the survey course to, to study them and figure out what kind of creatures they are. We know, well, we know this much. Pokemon are ter terrifying creatures. It's all, it's all but impossible to know what kinds of powers they might possess or what sorts of wondrous things they can do. But that's that's where Ouija Knight Ouija will come in. She's she successfully caught three Pokemon, three of them in or three of them in quick order. You understand? Nobody in Galaxy Team is capable of the feat such as that. This means we can finally begin our Pokemon research in in earnest. That's really something. We count ourselves lucky when we catch when we manage to catch a single wild Pokemon while fending off their attacks. Ah oh, well, to be perfectly fair, Pokemon that fled to the beach were on the attack. But the key to the catching Pokemon is getting close enough to in your Pokeball well. And it seems our new friend is fearless enough to do that. Does the survey course really have the leeway to, to be enjoying a leisure, leisurely meal versus outsider? Your captain just ordered ten whole portions of potato, potato mochis, you know. The slow progress on Pokedex of yours thoroughly has seen as we're on edge. I'm sure we'll start to rein in the good captain's stress while stress eating soon enough. Soon enough. Now have your fill, Ouija. And think, you might make you may, if you make it into the galaxy team, you will have you will never have to worry about a single meal again. The team provides for its, the team provides for all its members members' needs, even if said members fall, fall out of the sky. Sorry if I'm stuttering a little bit. My retainer kind of makes that a little hard. That was quite delicious. Quite delicious indeed. You're awfully relaxed about all of this. You do know that we won't get to have Ouija join the Survey Corps unless she passes the trial. Not to worry. I have complete confidence in Ouija's, Ouija's skills. Let's hope it's not misplaced. Ouija, was it? For tonight, at least we will provide you with a place to sleep. We may use your quarter. We may use our quarters here. But if you fail to pass the trial, we we put to you. But if you fail to pass the trial, we put to you tomorrow. You must move on. You will be expelled from the village to meet your fate and perhaps your death in the wilds. Oof. It's pretty harsh. Captain Selim's like his we in a way. They're both both plenty harsh. Now now. She simply puts on stern on a stern front to help 
keep up help keep us all safe. At any rate, I think it's time we turn in for the night, eh? It it's a good thing one can't fall out of the futons while we sleep in here. I imagine our friend has had enough falling for one day. And with that, I bid you a good night. Yeah, sleep tight. Still, people falling out of the sky? That's some crazy story. Go to sleep. It's nice. Not uh, Japanese style. Alright, survey tips. Obtain all sorts of useful information to help you carry out survey work in the this way region. <laughs> To, to read them at any time, simply press the up button to open the menu. Alright. Alright. Okay. Okay, got it. Easy enough. I'll save just in case, though. So. Alright. Let's go rest. Rest until tomorrow morning, yes. All right, let's do the trial. Oh. Beavers, I can't remember what hot Pokemon they're called. Don't say anything. It's like Bidoof. Yeah, Bidoof. Next day. Hey in there, you awake? That was some wild lightning last night, right? Anyway, if you're up, come on out. Investigate. Oh, okay. It's just a fire. Okay. Item box. I'm not unfamiliar with that stuff. Did you sleep all right? I know it's not easy in a stranger land. You better not keep Captain Selim waiting. Let's hurry to, the, let's hurry to the headquarters. All right. Here we are, Galaxy Hall. What did you think? Ever been in a building this grand before? Don't give up. Keep those eyes open. The wild Pokemon. They they were everywhere. Attacking me from all sides. I sent out my partner Pokemon, but against the whole pack outnumbered. This is what happens when you go go so so far afield. But the mount Michael Core will put you right. You uh do realize that if you fail your trial and you get flung out of the village, you will could well die out there. Well, you might even die sooner if, sooner than that, that. You well, you might you might die even sooner than that if you have time to have to take this trial without Pokemon to be your partner. Captain Celine, ma'am, I brought Ouija 9K. Hold on. You may enter.
Let us get straight to it. If you wish to join Galaxy Ex the G Galaxy Ex Expedition Team, you must prove yourselves capable by going out into the Obsidian Field lands and catching three different species of Pokemon. Bidoof, Starly, and Shinx. Alright. Three species right away? But none of us have ever managed that. Did this stranger not catch three Pokemon three different Pokemon only yesterday? My trial could be simply could be simple enough for her if the professor just wasn't exaggerating things that is. The Galaxy team does not have the means to provide for those who only take without giving. If you wish to stay, you must prove any prove beyond any doubt that you'll be an asset to our cause. Alright. Sounds fair enough. I will lend you one of our survey core satchels to carry where whatever you may need in the field. Alright. Cool. That that whatever it is you're wearing doesn't suit our satchels in, in the li least. Ray, I'll expect you to step in it, step in if anything goes awry. All right, it's your trial. Got it. Pardon, Ouija. Come with me a moment. Now then, a jolly good morning to everyone. What do you need, Professor? In order to complete our Pokemon Pokedex and well, s simply survive in this unforgiving land, Ouija must absolutely pass this trial. And as the as the professor of Pokemon, I've just got just sticking to help accomplish that. Go right. mm. on, Luigi. Pick the pick the Pokemon that strikes your fancy. As a partner of your own, you'll be able to fight off the po off wild Pokemon outside the village. These dar little darlings are very dear to me, but it's plain to see what they're rather curious about you. Hey, Muna. What did you choose? I'm not going with Oshawott. Alright. Did you want Sig Sigfla as your first partner? Yes. Okay. Yeah, I chose Cyndaquil when I play Soul Silver, so that's what I'm going with. And with that, one of the Pokemon will, Pokemon you caught will, you caught at Prelude Beach for me will, be, now be yours to keep. Good show. I tucked Cyndaquil back inside this Pokemon for you, so take it. It's yours. You receive Cyndaquil. A word of advice, my girl. Pay close attention to which Pokeballs are empty and which ones contain a Pokemon when you're out in the field. Alright. Look at those two two cheer that are on the Pal Syndicate. Or maybe they just want wanted to help Ouija, Ouija with the trial with the trial. That could be you, well. They did go dashing from the village when Ouija fell out of the sky, after all. Well, not to worry, you two. I'll have to, I'll have you assist with my research for now. 
Alright. By the way, what species has, has Captain Selene charged you with catching? That, well, that's smashing. All three of the... All three of those species can be found in the obsidian fields. Let me give you some Pokeballs to give you, to use during your trial then. Four Pokeballs. <laughs> wow. These Pokeballs may be handcrafted, but they work a treat, as you've already seen. You will have this trial cleared in no time. Let's be off. I'll show you how. I'll show you the way to the Obsidian Fields. Meet me at the gate to your to your left as you leave headquarters. I only have. Yeah, uh, all that other 50 is gone now. It, had, it gave me 50 at the start. But only temporary. Alright. Over there. I guess that's kind of fair. They don't want to give me... Give me too much, too many pokeballs at the start. So it was all, probably only for the to tutorial, anyways. Oh, what a curious setup you you have there! I can already tell you're quite the character. I don't trust him. He has that untrusting look. I'm Volo of the Ginkgo Guild. The go-to choice for any of your percentile working. Merchantile needs here in this way. I've heard quite well, about I've heard talk about you. About from the sky, didn't you? Now that that's certainly the tale I'd like to hear about. Oh, and you've got a Pokemon. You're certainly full of in interesting surprises. Investigating the odd uh, and novel is the key is key to any good merchant's success. So what do you say? How about you and I see our Pokemon stand up to one another in battle? Sounds good. For now. I like you better and better. What a delightful find. There's always that one character in JRPG that you can't trust. And he's giving off this person to give you off that, that vibe. That vibe. I've also heard that through, at this trial you're your two tents. Let's have a quick battle to get your blood pumping before you head out. I though I hope you you know how you'll lose if you lose your Pokemon lose if your Pokemon's HP versus zero. Hope oh, there's no permadeath. That would kinda suck. Okay. What's your chance to me to battle? Alright. Okay, P. Let's go. Fight. Back. Back. Nice. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm liking this. All the battles are taking place in, like, the area or in, actually, not just some thing up kind of random place. I don't know if it was like that in uh, Sword and Shield. I probably won't never play Sword and Shield, but I'm excited for the new one coming out. The uh, Scarlet and Violet. I'm going to be choosing uh, Quaxley because it looks like Donald. Moves, items, season well. The world will be open to you. Alright. That was a quick battle. Love the UI design for uh, this game. For the, ba the battle, it's got the old kind of style, old Japanese calligraphy style. As they gain experience through battle, they'll learn even they'll learn mo more moves and grow even stronger. 
Alright. Okay. Yep. Basic Pokemon smuggling stuff, I think. But so few people you have their own Pokemon. If only more if only more knew about how how to use Pokeballs. At any rate, let me help help let me help our two battlers recover from the little exercise. And to, and to you, my fallen friend, I present some potions and thanks. Thank you. You can use them on your Pokemon whenever, whenever they might be worn out from a battle. I hope, I'll hope, I'll be hoping that you're successful on that trial of yours. More Galaxy team members mean means more customers for your tr for yours truly after all hope you don't mind my narrating I'm trying to keep it not quiet while I play if you can battle that well I've got a feeling you may have have your trial well in hand even if it's more to do with catching the catching the battling now, to the afternoon fields. Alright. See this. Whenever you leave Jubal Life Village, you will have you have to pick a destination from your map and let what rest guardsmen know where you're off to. That way someone can collect you if things go wrong. Hey, I hope I hope you make it through this. Alright, let's go. You're Luigi, correct? I'll, I was informed you'd be passing through. Your trial will take place outside the safety of the village. Please take care to come back alive. You got it. Alright. Hope it's kind of a seamless open world, not segmented off. Uh, I think it should might be big enough for each of the sections. How, that's how it is in Monster, Monster Hunter. I don't really like, like it like that. I like a kind of seamless open world, not just sectioned off. This is our base camp. It's where we start and finish our surveys. Now remember what we got to do. You've been tasked with catching three species of Pokemon. Bidoof, Starly, and Shinx. I'm curious to see if the professor's story about you are really true. Oh, professor, something wrong? Ah, uh, well, you see, Captain Celine ha got hold of me after you left. She impressed upon me that I bear full responsibility for whatever happens to our sudden guest. She doesn't let up. She doesn't let up. How exactly are you supposed to help out, dear professor? To be honest, my dear boy, I don't intend to lift a finger. Luigi, Luigi's talents are the real deal. She will pass the flying colors, you'll see. Well, in other words, I'm still, still the one bearing the responsibility here. Not my ideal state of affairs. Let's just get this started. You'll be more, e more than equal to this, Luigi. Alright, let's head out. This is Aspiration Hill. Ooh, ooh very nice. Kind of more stylized uh, graphics, but it's, I think it's nice. Badoof, alright, let's go. Let's get this, let's get this done. You may be sort some sort of prodigy, but just in case, here's what Captain Selene taught me. Hold down, focus on the wild Pokemon, and keep it. In, okay. Bidoof is the yellow, is a metal Pokemon, which means it doesn't tend to run away when you approach it. Aim carefully, let your Pokeball fly, and you'll have to be all right. All right, let's go. Cool. 
on the diff cut. Now we are on the march. Darley, okay. Then, okay, I got it. Okay. I can do this. There you go. Okay. Lock on. Got it. Use apples on that tree. All right. Let's see if I can get these off here. Okay. Okay, yeah, I got it. I can... Alright. Nice. That's cool. Okay. All right. Yeah. Okay. 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 Got it. Okay, I got it. Right. Uh, nice. Okay. Try, put, try catching it now. Nice. We did it. Wait, did you really? You really did it. You did it. That's that's three species of Pokemon. Caught. You really are some kind of prodigy. You must have given Professor Lavington the shock of his life. First, first you fall from the sky, then you go catch it, 
I'm gonna catch all of our escape Pokemon one after another. I honestly did, didn't believe the professor w story until I saw your reaction, saw you in action for my for myself. And here we are, here we are with three Pokemon caught. You've completed your trial. It's such a I reset the chat on my uh, Steam Labs here. Oh, I said said you passed the trial with fine colors, and it seems you that you went and did just that. Congratulations, Luigi. You've taken your first step towards seeking out every Pokemon. This calls for a commemorative photo photograph. I get to admit, it's true. You got you got really talent, real talent for this. Now then, we best report to, to Captain Selene. I'm just head back to Jubilee Village, eh? All right. Eventually, you'll, you should be able to have Pokemon if you go live in the village pastures. The po Pokemon a person can have with them while out exploring a six, apparently. Not, not that we have anyone who can manage that. Come now, you two. It's, let's not dilly-dally. Captain Selene waits our reports report at headquarters. I can't wait to see the captain's reaction. Hopefully, can I go free pretty soon after after this. I just want to explore. Seems you we won't have to leave you die after all. Congratulations, you passed your trial. You can hold on to the sa to the satchel. I must admit you've impressed me. I set a high hurdle to judge whether a stranger like yourself could be worthy, but you cleared it. It is yours, the official uniform of the Survey Corps. All right. Cool. Get changed in the room you, you used last night, then you're to report at once at the, to the third floor. Present yourself in uniform to our commander, and this is the, your first official order from your captain. All right. Go back to our room.
Alright. Alright, let's change it. Let's go to the head back to headquarters. Look at you in the survey court uniform. Now it finally feels like you're one of us. I do wonder where, when the captain decided to go ahead and get the uniform ready for you. I see you've changed. Regarding your accommodations, you, you may continue to use the room you slept in last night. You may wear this as well. Cool. Very nice. Now present yourself to the commander. Oh, you want uh, I don't know. I'll keep it. Hello. I have been waiting for you. I am Kamado, commander of the Galaxy Ex Expedition Team. Hmm, so you are Ouija Nike. Ouija. Yes, sir. I've been briefed on your situation, including how you fell from the rift in the sky. Now then, let's see what you're made of. Face me in combat. Alright. <laughs> hmm, you got some fight in you. You're soon when these work, but I see some potential. Okay. No one expects a warm welcome from everyone. It's naturally, some will be slow to trust an outsider who literally fell right out of the blue. The superstitious among, among us might see your rival as a portion of disaster. But you passed the trial that was put, put to you. No matter how odd you may seem, you're part of your life now. That dedicate yourself to the to the work of the Galaxy Expedition Team and complete the Pokedex. I warn you, Ouija. Pokemon are ter terrifying creatures. Keep your wits about you as you work. All right. Well, the commander has accepted you. I understand this. You you begin as a no star recruit. Recruit among our ranks. In, in other words, you have to have no rank at all. You perform well as a survey member of the survey corps, and you will move up the ranks. All right. Indeed, you see the more. See, the more Pokemon you add to your Pokedex, the higher, higher rank you will become. And be working on the Pokedex will also, of course, bring you closer towards the, towards the goal of yours. Bring you closer to seek out every last Pokemon. Here, you will need this. You attain the recipe for crafting Pokeball. Recipe? Okay. And 3,000 money as well. You will have to buy necessary materials. Ray, you are you are an expert at crafting yourself. T teach our new recruit what she needs to know. Yes, ma'am, Captain. 
get ready for a lesson in crafting. Crafting means making items from scratch. That's right. Whatever you need in your survey work, you must make. You will mostly make, make yourself. Some things you can buy at the general store, but it's good to try to be self-sufficient. This way, you can catch, you can catch po Pokemon with Pokeballs we've captured ourselves. Well, listen to, listen to me, pal. On you go. Let's go to the craft work so you can try it out. All right. Well done, earning a place in our team. My name is Ant. Antsy. I'm the local clothier. The professor asked me, asked that I ready you to change of clothes. So here you go. I do hope it fits. You received an everyday kimono and a pair of everyday trousers. Hope you, hope you avail yourselves off of the village's humble shops. All right. Hey, this way the craft works. All right. Can okay, I read the dialogue for the uh, um, tutorials? Sit back a little bit. I don't know how many can I craft. I have to do 20. Nice. You can always get more later. Basics of crafting. Okay. Fleets. Oh, that, now that's some fine craftsmanship. Work hard. Hard to believe this was your first time stepping up to the workbench, my girl. You'll recall, of course, that Pokemon possess the power, odd power to shrink themselves down. With the Pokeballs we craft, we can make use of that power to catch them. Also, that more, more Pokemon, Pokemon species can do, can be duly recorded in the Pokédex. And on that note, here we are. You see the Pokédex. All right. Cool. All right. Prepare this this volume just for you. Hope it aids you well in getting to seek out all the Pokemon here in the this grand region. I'll take plenty of research tasks to help the. I'll take plenty of research tasks to help the professor complete the Pokedex. I got to get going on those myself. I'll be happy to explain more about this research task that could, I could use your assistance with. Come join me at the field land camp whenever. You are ready, like a Ouija. Alright. Excuse me, I couldn't help but over here. 
going to the field lands camp, but would you mind taking care of a request for me? Like that. I'm sending guards so I can't leave my post. So I'll be here at headquarters if you want. You talk about it. Alright. Basic JRPG stuff. Hey, so there's this Pokemon called Love Bowl. Have you heard of it? I don't know. Well, you see, I had, I was having a chat with Professor Lavathan and he told me that after a Pokemon has a certain amount of experience through battling and the like, it'll, it will help sometimes change its appearance and become stronger. He said it was a phenomenon called evolution. Okay. So I decided I want to raise some more bowl myself and have it evolve. You're part of the Silver Course, right? If you catch Wurple, could you let me have it? There will be a reward in it for you, I promise. Let's get me Wurple if you can. Alright. Alright, let's go. Let's get all these side quests stuff. I know Shink's ears have had odd markings on the inside, but what are they? No use, I can't remember. This will keep me up all night. Hey, aren't you in the three record? If you catch a sphinx, could you show it to me? I gotta see one with my own eyes. Please, I don't. I can't remember for the life of me what those ears look like. Give me a bald wall. Alright. I mean, I have a shinx already. Yeah. Alrighty, let's have a peek at those round ears. That's it. This, its ears have that yellow cross pattern on them, kind of like a star. Can't tell you what a relief this is. Felt like I had a bone stuck in my throat. Not only the throat's my brain, and the bones are thoughts. Thanks for helping. You get that bone out. You got you got it. You're the new you're that newcomer who followed the sky. Aren't you are you heading outside the village? Of course you of course you are. The silver core must have have to get out. Let's have to get out and about to call that Pokedex book they're working on, right? Well, on your way, kindly do me a favor. Find out about find out all about Starly. Pokemon certainly are ter terrifying creatures, but when I see a Starly, I simply feel whole. Not that I have the least desire to actually touch one, mind you. Please let me see. Starly's entry in that Pokedex the moment you completed it. Alright. So. I open up Pokedex. I want to check. Okay, so I have to report to the professor about it. He's in here, I think. Okay, I don't think I can do it yet. Hey, Moon, when am I, when am I able to uh, start? Uh, Taking the Pokemon to the Professor.
Alright, uh, let's get to it then, shall we? In order to complete this Pokedex of ours, there are many great, great many research texts tasks and I'll need to help to carry out my girl. The details on of these tasks can be found in the Pokedex for you to ref reference at any time. Alright. You must catch and battle diverse diverse Pokemon species and carry out plenty of research tasks. Do so and you will gain experience points and other rewards for your work. Now that there's one more nugget of wisdom I've got to share with Ouija 9 k While Pokemon may attack you any time, when they do, dodge like dodge like your life depends on it. I got it. I mean, I don't need to know how to dodge. I know how to dodge in other games. Okay, I, yeah, I can do that. <laughs> I spam dodge roll and keep hearts all the time, so I don't need to know how to. Alright. Thank you, Ray. Yep. We can dodge. I was trying to dodge earlier. You need me. I need your help to show me how. Okay. All right, makes sense. Check it. Okay. Whoops, in it my battle. Uh, run. There you go. Oops. There you go. I can catch two at once, right? There you go. Okay. I know. Don't need to tell me. I know what to do. Not that it, I, I can do it myself. Hey, when games do that, you kind of know what you're kind of getting into. But they tell you stuff anyway, so like. It should just be the option for like if you know what you want to do or you know the idea of what to do then you shouldn't need a tutorial for it. One thing that kind of annoys me about that type of stuff. Like I want to figure out for myself not, not having the game tell me everything. I'm the gamer, not casual. All 
I had played Pokemon before, just not this one. I know, so I know the general idea of catching Pokemon. Stuff like that. Just in a different format. See if I can catch him without going to battle. Okay. Um, I can risk it. Run around ball and ballad. That's kind of neat. What well, if I did this? I can't. Oh, I get knocked over or something. Okay. Ah, man. Okay. Uh, this one over level. Oof. Alright. Should be able to catch it now. I think. Nice. One more free now, I think. Uh, okay, I can't. Right, so how do I, uh, yeah, so I gotta go back to the camp. I'm going to test something there. I don't like this game so far. That's kind of like... Corio seems a little too helpful. Yeah, I want to go back and heal up. Darley. There's a door. Hey, Moon, where do I go to uh, revive Pokemon? Oh, oh, wait. Never mind. I got it. You got revived as soon as I uh, got back to the, to the village. Alright. Not take care of it, but take care of not take care of that. Alright, now let's back out here back Okay. 
I didn't do, do that. Uh, Alright, slap to item. Getting used to this. Cool. I don't waste all my balls, all my Pokeballs, though. It's enough. that now okay hello okay that makes sense right, let's go here Around here, you can you can find a Pokemon called Beuzel. It's got an aggressive disposition. All right, that means it'll try to hit you if it moves. Just just like Shinx, you will you need to battle it to catch it. All right, all right, it's gonna battle just. Okay, we got it. I got it, game. You tell me everything. I got it. Alright. Since we should uh lower level. Nice. Got it. Beasel. Cool. Nice. 
Thank you. That's the uh, one the guard works, actually. Sweet. Ah, uh, okay. Oh, thought it escaped. Good. Alright. You're doing pretty well for a mystery stranger in the, in the sky. Here, a little reward for me. For me. Keeping up with me, your own crafting tips. That's cool. Alright. Okay. Okay, rest of the potions. Why is I have to craft Pokeballs now. Interesting. Don't mind it though. Pretty cool. My own more pull here. Ah. Yeah, I can't battle it, huh? It disappear? Dang. Okay, I think it's disappeared on me. It takes a while to get anywhere. Thinking you ride Pokemon later? Alright. 
go back to the village for that. Okay, I have three reports. Alright, nice. I gotta keep doing the doof, I think. Okay, now we're just defeated, okay. Here. that the crystal or something cool yeah okay. uh, for uh poke pokemon <laughs> use for pokeball crafting that Oops. Okay. Ember. Items. Nice. Alright. Go ahead and heal up in the quill. Um, yes, swap out for mine, I think.
Okay, got another warp pool. Always good. I should change my party. I swim. I can swim. Oh, oh I can't swim. Alright. I can't swim. Change Pokemon by uh, not very effectively. it I think you good thunder shock quick attack Ah, come on.
the, the white uh, little effect was throwing me off. I thought something was wrong with my monitor. Game. We are around. There you go. Attack. Nice. Nice. Okay. Go back. To Professor Levinson. You made some good progress on the research task, Luigi. I do believe you're ready to move up the ranks. Let's head back to the village and report the good news to Captain Celine. It's a good ta time you earned yourself a star. Alright. Yeah, I probably have to support. I will judge it more than this. Show me your Pokedex. All right. All right. Hmm. You made made progress since you have enough to earn. I've earned enough yourself a star. With this, you have officially attained the rank of first, a first star in the Galaxy Expedition Team. Nice. Got my first rank. Now you can use Heavy Balls. Pokemon of up to, up to level 20 will obey your orders reliably in battle. The rewards you earn... Okay. okay got it. Have, have these as well. They are further recipes you will need for crafting. Got it. Have you all crafting? Sounds good. Revive. Sounds good. Okay. That's, that stranger like you should fall from the sky and yet flourish among, among us like this is this is a testament to your native talent and hard, hard work. Most people prefer it when things are simple enough to be judged at face, va face value alone. And proving yourself by moving up through our ranks is something anyone can understand. Keep at it, and even if you did fall from the sky, people may be more willing to accept you. Working your way through the ranks will also, help, also be a help if you wish to make a life for yourself here. A higher rank will grant you access to more types of Pokeballs and rewards. This is kind of like Pokemon Isekai. Yes, yet in the beginning you have a phone and you get kind of like transformed into like magic phone and you're into like this new world and new time but everything's pretty kind of similar but everyone like kind of like ultra shock by your technology and stuff. Those Pokemon Isekai. 
Got it. I want you to kind of imagine that the main character, your main character was from the world that doesn't have Pokemon, just regular animals. You're a gamer, and your character is like a gamer, and then you get actual transported into like the world of ancient Pokemon. That's, I want to believe that. I, uh, little head theory there. Don't, don't confirm it it's right or not. I don't know. I want to believe that for now. A usual order of pit, pito mochi tastes even better when there's something to celebrate. Hey, by the way, have you heard? Have you been? Have you taken on that request, Beer Guard Head? Well, most people here don't know know much about Pokemon. You've noticed, right? So it's our job that survey courts to take care of any issues that crop up because of that. Indeed so. Some people will ask or ask you for help when you talk to with them, while other requests will need to be claimed with the blackboard I keep at, keep in my lab. Speaking of which, weren't you approached with a request recently, Ray? What's it all about? That one might be better fit for Wiji than me. I don't think I'll be able to pull it off unless I get a better Pokemon, better at Pokemon battling first. Ah, yes, that request came from Maya of the Diamond Clan, if I call, if I recall correctly. The people of the Diamond Clan have lists here in the history this before the Galaxy team arrived. If we could establish good relations, I'm sure there is much we might learn from them. R including more about the local Pokemon. But we can't discuss all that tomorrow. For today, we need... We should g eat up and get some rest. Alright. Hey Ouija, before I go meet my about uh, that request, mind showing me how do you do in battle? Of course. Great, it'll I'll be at the training grounds. If you if you've been catching off Pokemon you can change up your team at the pastures just so you know. Okay, I can do that. I'm gonna change my Pokemon now. Change it. I wanna go back and change my Pokemon. Or the pastures. Okay. Makes sense. I can use the uh, Apicorns in battle. Hey, uh, Moon, where do I go to change my Pokemon? Here. Oh. It's in the menu, I think. Is it?
Uh, Birsha, be afraid or be doomed. Be afraid, I like that. Alright. Alright, see ya, be afraid. I'll see more of you later. Game that showed me where to go and change my Pokemon. This told me. Oh. Here? Oh, okay. Here, I think. Alright. Good. Yeah, I have too many of them. Yeah, that's good so far, I think. That's good. That's a lot of uh, Bidoof and Star Elise there. I have an extra. Things I didn't need. Uh, up one there. Yeah. That's a good. No, no, no. I'll do that. Oh, fight Ray. 
Ray Skywalker. Turn up the game audio here on the stream labs, so not sure if you can hear it. Thanks for taking a minute for me. I know your plate's full right now. Alright. I'm going to be straightforward with you about something. Everything alright? I don't understand how anyone can handle taking on the Pokemon in battle. I know I'm a survey course member and I'm even and I've even got my own partner, but I just can't do it. Your partner? That's right, take a look. My very own partner. Pikachu. Nice. This is my Pikachu. During that Shinx battle, I should have had Pikachu fight at my side, but my mind just went blank. And, I, and really, when you get right down to it, Pokemon are terrifying, right? I should this thing be able to fire electricity. Pika! But, watch, watching you at work, including these only those research tasks tasks rinse me. If I want to do my survey course well, work well, my partner and I have got to be a team. My first step toward being a real team is to allow your team. Alright. Swap out now. I'll decide. All right. Oh, you seem so in sync with your Pokemon. And evolve purple. Hey, that was amazing. The way you fight, fight along inside your Pokemon, you don't seem one bit scared of battling. We'll just have to catch up as best we can, right, Pikachu? Ah, fair enough. Pikachu's got a bit, bit of a tendency to attack, you see. That's why he normally stays in his ball. I guess the first step for Pikachu and me might be getting a little friendlier with one another. Oh, and by the way... The professor said Pokemon have these things called all types, which apparently make a big difference in how battles go. Pikachu here seems to be an electric type, for, for example. Alright, and yep, I, Pokemon types. So you're the one. So that new recruit everyone's talking about, been talking about. Hello. My name's Zizu. The captain of the Pacific Security Corps. I see you got some fight in you. Figured I'd stop by and give what what advice I could. Captain Zizu is a master of ancient martial art, where you guide Pokemon in battle. Now listen, if your Pokemon is truly mastered it's smooth, it can actually see you. Can actually use them in different styles. It, on, one, on the one hand, you can choose to deliver a move in the, the strong style. And the move will deal more damage, but afterward it'll, it'll take longer for the Pokemon to act. 
On the other hand, you can choose to unleash the move in the Agile style. Such a move will have less power behind it, but your Pokemon can act more quickly afterward. In truly favorable conditions, it might act, even get out two moves before the opponent, opponent can attack. Strong style moves, Agile style moves, and of course, regular moves. Choose which, which is right for the current situation and direct your Pokemon with a no, little nudge. Alright. I think I'll make uh, um, hatching battle Pokemons easier. Oh, and one more thing. If you want to teach your Pokemon some powerful moves, just let me know. Well, that's certainly handy to find out how I know about before going tackle my request. You, you remember? I mentioned it earlier. I'm heading down to, down to see about my request. I'm supposed to meet her down past the foot of Esperation Hill. You should come along too. Get ready, then meet, meet us down there, would you? And by ready, I mean double checking what Pokemon you'll bring in, maybe even teaching some Pokemon some new moves to Zizu. Alright. That's a good. The uh, level up is more full. Alright, uh, I think I'm going out with Asperger's. Level them up. Or here, actually. Ball. Okay. Do it. Whoa, that's way different. Silcoon. Silcoon got the idea for a new move. Okay, let's see what it is. Uh, iron defense, point thing, tackle. Okay. Alright. Alright. Go out. Uh, there's a request I want to get done first. Alright. And. Which one was for again? Here, get take their quest. Party. Set out. That's cool. Uh, I like that. Makes it feel more alive. Gotta set out. All right. I wanted the quest. Yeah, about that. Did 
big beetle. And Pokemon of the same species really come in different sizes. I know the professor said to do, but I'll have a hard time believing it unless I see a different size ones lined up side by side. If they really are these little bigger than mine, I love to see them alongside the one I have. For comparison's sake. Makes sense. And you're a natural when it comes to catching Pokemon, right? I bet you could you see where I'm going with this. If you catch a these little bigger than mine, would you mind would you let me have it? It'll I'll make it work a little while. Alright. Not giving the one I have right now, but I'll find find another one. I'm a slider? No. Okay. Alright, let's head over to the new part of the region. Hello. Did I surprise you? I bet I did. I was trying to anyway. This is a secret technique to catching Pokemon, you see. So I call it a secret back strike technique. Hitting a Pokemon's back with your Pokeball will surprise you, give it, making it easier to catch or giving you an advantage once the battle starts. Sense? Alright. Take okay. This game has the habit of telling me how to do things. Ooh, you're that girl from the story record, right? Who fell from the sky, aren't you? Listen here a moment. I need to tell you about the great cake lure recipe I invented. I call it the mushroom cake. I poured 20 years of mushroom foraging know-how into coming up with this recipe, and I know it's the winner. Problem is, the folks around here just start catching up, catching on to my recipe's amazing potential. But you're the you're the talk of the village. I people see you making mushroom cakes, famous people as you are. I'm sure they'll want to give it a go too. I'll teach you the recipe. All you have to do in return is spread the good word by eating it. Alright. Oh, and you'll need to go get the key ingredient of the recipe for yourself. It's ground not not from the forages of thy fellows, but as the old saying goes. One springy mushroom is all you need. I'll be waiting. Alright. Alright, sir. Head back down here. I likely want to play this off stream a bit just so I can catch Pokemon, but I'll leave like story stuff for um, streams, stuff like that. I want I want to play this on, on my own time obviously. I feel like if I don't play it for at least another play it off stream I won't get used to the combat that much. It, although I feel like I'm pretty natural with it. There are many strong Pokemon that make a tape that make their home on the other side of the bridge. I can't oh yeah okay. Got it. 
Hello. Over here. This here is Luigi. I'm I, and you're facing the village. Not that it matters to me if you're new. If you're here, I assume you're prepared to be of help. I am the one of the wardens of the Diamond Clan. You may call me Mai. I suppose you might not even know what a warden is if you're new to Hisui. But, but such talk can wait now. Right now, I'd rather we get straight to the point. I have a problem that I need help, help solving. So the more important question is this. Do you feel confident that you can lead your Pokemon in battle? I do. That's good to hear. That security core of yours certainly wasn't up to the task. This here is my partner, Munchlax. We were raised together like siblings. He bows at my, my side by choice, without needing any silly little balls like you use. Watch and learn. Oh boy, level 10, I can't have to change. Chong style. Oof. You get out of change styles. No. All right. Nice. Ouchie, ouch. Uh, all my Pokemon are dying out here. Silicon, no. A struggle. really aren't one of the usual galaxy buffoons if if you could defeat my partner. Well fought, Munchlax. I'll take care of the Pokemon that battles for us. Alright, thank you. Uh, and I'll let you have these. You people make all kinds of things with your crafting, don't you? These should prove to be useful materials. If it took... You and your Pokemon fought well together. You practically aced, acted as one with, as one with them. 
rather than like the legendary hero of old, the the one we tell stories of. I think you're indeed the one for the job. You see, I need someone, someone who can deal with an alpha Pokemon causing trouble in the Deerdike Heights. Deerdike Heights. It's a large fusion foe, like any alpha, but you'll come, won't you? The Deerdike Heights? Yeah. Dark phone is beeping. That strange thing gummy of, of yours telling you where to go? My my, that is some curious sort of map. Is this uh, one of those Rocky Team adventures I keep hearing about? It certainly does seem to show me show the way to Geostrike Heights up ahead of, ahead of us. I'll leave this bit to you. You shouldn't have any problems dealing killing an alpha. Alright. Alright. I suppose this has to be expected. The only just it's not the basics. My Sinnoh steers all the time. Said to have created the very universe, seeing its power over time flow, and this kind of peace we was born in the process. It's by the grace of all my mighty Sinnoh that Pope Pokemon can live and thrive here. We, the, we of the Diamond Clan are descendants of the uh, people who cross the sea and sell here in the Hisui re region to venerate Almighty Sinnoh. However, it stole away from the world long ago, hiding itself from our sight. All, Almighty Sinnoh has rarely, seen, rarely been seen by any human, uh, if the old tales are to be trusted. Change volume here. I end. I think that's why. Okay. It is the duty of warriors like myself to tend to their needs. The Pokemon that graces Deerstrike Heights is one of those honored few. It is directly Descended from a Pokemon that was blessed with all my Sinnoh protection. Follow me and you may understand. Alright, head over to catch Pokemon here. And Pokeballs. Okay. You right now. Poison, okay. Ah, come on, okay. Uh, bird Pokemon there. I'll look around a little more here before I head out. Chinks, uh, pop out with you.
Doof. I'm gonna try catching him. The quest. See if it checks out. That's it, okay. I don't think there's anything over here worthwhile. This. Oh there, am I helping guy out? I'm after the cherry berries. You know them? The shiny red ones. They grow on some trees around here, but I don't have any Pokemon that can reach them for me. That's where you come in, friend. Well one of your Pokeballs that berry tree and you Pokemon will grab berries for you. You sure the, the Pokeball you throw has a Pokemon in it? Fine. It'd be a shame to waste an empty ball. If you hand me three of the cherries you get, I'll help. I'll tell you another handy tip. Alright. Ooh, Geodude. Hello. Hello, Geodude. Do much damage. Okay, and I have to swap out. Send the quill, go out. You're fixing it, I'm using more out. Alright. Uh... Diesel. Alright, I can try catching it now, I think. Yes. Geodude, yeah. Heck yeah. Another one, I think. Well, I think we have my Pokeball a little bit here.
Oh, so even your professor decided to join us. Oof, thank goodness I got here in time. As a Pokemon researcher, I hardly miss out on a chance to observe an alpha. How could I? I suppose that is your business. Fine, as long as you stay out of the way. This is Deer Strike Heights. This is where I've longed to come to pay tribute to a special Pokemon. A Pokemon descended from one of those ancient blessed by the by Almighty Sinnoh. I guess the Sinnoh is Arceus. That's the only thing I could think of for that. That's not it. It's only a troublemaker here to, here to disturb the peace with the Bracket. So looks worth enough to catch, though. That's what you're here, Ouija. To drive that interloper from its place. I'll, I'll ensure you're quickly ready for battle. Alright, thank you. Oh my word, well, a large specimen. Little wonder alpha Pokemon are Speared across the land if they're all oversized as this one. Exactly. They're not only big though. They are strong and they know moves that others of their kind do not. They're not to be trifled with, let me tell you, nevertheless. I believe you are strong enough stronger than stronger still than this alpha, so go so go show it that beyond any mistaking. Be careful, Ouija. Size is a potent, potent weapon in and of itself. No doubt this alpha is a powerful and hardly foe. If you must face it, make, make sure your Pokemon has strong moves at their disposal. Alright. Alright, uh, let's talk about in the quill. Okay, see how to walk up to it. Uh, okay. Okay. Maybe a hard one, I think. I want to weaken it if I can catch it. But let me catch it. Catching it now. Nice. Get tuned. Not bad. You really are an impressive one, aren't you? Seeing someone best in alpha like that, it truly reminds me of the great legendary heel of old. I wonder who that is. Maybe like some kind of red equivalent. That's my guess. We best make sure your Pokemon are taken care of after facing off against such a foe. What in the world? Ooh. 
That is great. Weirder. Weirder. Looks upon you in kindness, Ouija. I said the great weirder has taken liking to you. That is fortunate. He is then a machine Pokemon that can dash across the expanses of Eastwee while bearing a human on back. A human he deems worthy at least. He is a blessing to us all. Remarkable. Truly outstanding stuff. A Pokemon laying come right on it by just like the right ri Pokemon of Alola. Professor, I take it things went smoothly? Got a feeling the professor is from the world I'm from. Professor, I take it things went smoothly? I'm here on Captain Selene's orders. See, he said we'd be able to set up camp, a, a base camp when, here once Luigi took care of her requests. Nice. About that. I know this was just was a joint decision by Adam and the commander, but still, is it truly fine for us to set up more base camps like this? Basically, region is the land created all by Almighty Sinnoh for the sake of his Pokemon. As long as your goal is to coexist and thrive with together with the Pokemon, then I imagine you should also be allowed to use this land. The great weirdeer ha were deer has taken liking to you Luigi as well. That is a good sign. You have many you have my thanks for what you did today. Our clan leader will hear of how you aided us. I'll Come to show you my appreciation with proper reward as soon as I can. Alright. Well, if we're to coexist and thrive, the Pokemon will need to know them, know them better. And the first step towards that is completing the, the Pokedex. Construction core it should be here soon. We'll have our new base camp pitched in no time. Right. That was quick. Here we have it. Our new base set upon Deer Track Heights. I call it the hip uh, Heights Camp. now on, when you set, set up from the village, you can ask to be escorted to the, the base camp to start your excursions directly from there. Having more base camps ought to make our survey work easier, huh? Well, that's that. How about we head to the wallfall like usual? Alright. Alright, go back, gotta go back to see the guy for the request after we cut this cutscene. Any old chum, the usual tail motion, please. And make it three for three, make it for three today as well. Have you all heard the grave news? That friend. I said Cleaver from the rumors, and I ended up bawling one of our galaxy folks who went out to investigate this morning. The medical corps has uh, had a hard time getting all the injured back on back on their feet. Ah, this this Cleaver was reported struck by 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 powerful lightning. Yes, I did hear he's been behaving non 
most radically since then. Still, it for further investigation is in order. So Vicor will of course step the task. A certain amount of danger is inevitable when re researcher researching unfamiliar Pokemon, but I'm sure Luigi can here can here can handle things just fine. That cleaver is said to be much to be much much stronger than even the Alpha, isn't he? Oh no. We forget the that the strengths of Pokemon are key items of information that we of the Silver Core found due to research. And since this perilous work of ours calls for a clear head, the fighting bit physique. I do believe a good night's sleep is in order after this fine meal. The next day. Rise and shine, Ouija. Boss wants you. Model, that is. Get, get yourself to the commander's office. Alright. Mm. I need that. Yeah, I'll keep everything I have right now. Did you get a good rest? Sure did. Who's been look who's being punctual. Oh, I realized you're wasting all my sin of precious time by bowing to a sham. Oh, that's tension, tension here, huh? You read that. There you go again, insisting on your false image of all my Sinnoh as the ruler of time. My people follow the tr true almighty Sinnoh, the front, front of all creation and ruler of space. Ah, you could, you could have all the space there is and still not know what to do with it. Excuse me? Are you suggesting that you make a better use of your time when, than we make of vast history of space? Then in some, it's just a miracle you showed up on time, oh my leader of Pearl, Pearl Clan. I, I worried you'd get lost in the potential vast space you're fond of and never show up. Me? Get lost. And on my Tino's great gift to the Pearl Clan in our world's very basis. You wish. I wish that I, ha I, wish that I hadn't let myself get dragged into arguing with you. On oh, my Tino, forgive me. What a waste of time. I'm. I'm off to come out of his office. I believe it was you who started this. Okay. It's another day with those two, I see. That uh, man's name... Man's name... Adam, and he's the leader of the Diamond Clan. They put a lot of importance on time, as you can probably tell. And the girl is Rita, leader of the Pearl Clan. And they're all about space. You heard what she called it, right? Our world's very basis. Whenever they run into, whenever they run into each other, those same arguments flow up. <sighs> Seems like they they. They've inherited some bad blood from predecessors' strife. Ah oh, well, not a problem. But you will have problems if you don't get up. Don't get yourself to the commander's office, Luigi. Got it.
Okay. I'll head over to the farm. I can't just uh, teleport to the pasture. Okay. That's not too far from where I need to be. Deal, dude. Wait, so. Uh, that looks good, I think. Right, let's head over to headquarters, talk to uh, Mado. Mado. What do you intend to do about that cleaver, Karina Kamado? He may be a descendant from a warrior of Almighty Sinnoh, but he looks... But look at that mess he's cause, causing. We can't sit back and let him rage on. You do get... You do get, you do get wretched point out of him. Time wasted is lost. Well, tell me. What would you have us do? Cleaver is a precious lord of the Pearl Clan. Is he not? That's the point. My clan can't intervene directly where the lord of the Pearl Clan is concerned. If my people were to do something, our two clans might end up back at each other's throats. Just like we used to be. The even folk of the galaxy team have been wounded, haven't they? Seems someone's got to do something here. Who then? Would the Diamond Clan have the Pearl Clan bring down one of its own honor nobles? I don't believe I said that. Thought it, maybe. My thoughts said it, you fool. Look, we don't we don't even know what drove Lord Cleaver into such a violent frenzy. I'd like to know that myself. This is this is the first as far as far as my clan knows too. Hmm, I see you have arrived. This is Ouija Knight. This is Ouija, the newest member of our survey course. Aha! I hear from my you, your weirdest favor. Good to hear, good to finally meet you, stranger, changing from the rest. I'm Adamant, leader of the Diamond Clan. If you want to, if you want to be formal, but that's just a mouthful. Just call me Adamant. All right. If you came from beyond the space-time rift, could you be the be from the space where Almighty Sinnoh is said to be said to reside. I'm Marita, leader of the Pearl Clan. 
passion and foresight are my watchwords. Which is why I had trouble believing such a tale. Could you really ha have passed through that rift? I, I have prop proposition. Why not send this one to study Cleaver before deciding what must be done? You send the stranger who slowly fell from the, from the rift to study Cleaver? This newcomer with no experience? The leader with almost no experience. Being a good leader isn't a matter of time, it's a matter of embracing Kusui's vastness without fear. Well then, there you have it. If how, if how new you are doesn't matter, then give, let's give this the kid her chance. I'm sold, Commander. Let's try this out. Let's try this your way. This should be fun. I'll get to see how how good you galaxy folk really are. With all your weird ways. Putting Pokemon in those strange balls and what have you. That whole practice bothers me. All my Suno made this we fast the so Pokemon could live free the freely throughout. We're meant to stand alongside Pokemon, not count ourselves above them. We do not use Pokeballs from the desire to control our Pokemon, only so that we can live together. Allow us to show what allow us to show you what we can do. That is this is your mission now, Luigi. In order to study a cleaver and help us find the truth of the situation, I accept. Remember that you are a stranger who appeared one day out of the sky above us. People are actually suspicious of your presence here. If you wish to be fully accepted and trusted, you must work hard. Work yourself to the very bone. The frenzy of the world. Okay, whatever. All that's set. All that's settled, and there's no time like the present. The Lord of the wor Word, Lord of the Woods, Cleaver, is destined from a Pokemon that was blessed with op with Almighty Sinnoh's own power. No other Pokemon you've encountered can compare to his strength. Be warned. Okay. Listen to me. The Galaxy team, the Galaxy Expedition team, has come to the Hisui region as a group of outsiders. Some might even call them interlopers. We mustn't do anything to threaten our relations with the Diamond Pearl clans. Understand? Join me downstairs, Luigi. We'll cover the details on this new mission. All right. Got it. I'm a little tired. I think I'll do one more hour. I'll call it, uh, call it end of the stream. Ah, good, you're already here. Professor Lanson, the briefing, if you please. And tomorrow is Halo. Yes, let's get right to it. So, Ouija, I understand you've been requested to find out the cause of the Cleaver's frenzy state. But as you're aware now, Cleaver is a mighty thing, not invisible even. The security corps tried throwing pokeballs at Cleaver even when they were attacked, but I'm afraid they didn't even come close to catching him. It seems he's a far trickier opponent than even those aggressive species of Pokemon that cannot be caught up caught outside of the battle once they've they riled. I'd like to be perfectly clear on this point. This mission will not put you in extreme danger. 
Do you believe you can handle it? Oh, it, it will put me in team danger. Okay. Uh, yeah, okay. Got it. Very well. Then let us go over the particulars. The Diamond and Pearl clans revered their nobles because they decided that Pokemon better. Pokemon serve their almighty Sinnoh. They leave offerings to express their gratitude to the Pokemon in locations they call the Noble Seats. So perhaps a good spark starting point of our of our research could lead to be to find out what sorts of offering is they normally leave for this cleaver. Ouija, we need to speak to you. Listen, that rift in the space time seems like it affects this world to a whole other world. This that world might where, be where the All My Sinnoh self resides. The, the true All My Sinnoh, that is. And the one that rules over time. So if you fell through the t space time rift, that, that might mean you travel through time by All My Sinnoh's power. Think of it, you must have been swimming in that. This divine might. Well, I've got a figure, favor to ask of you, old amazing time traveler. Don't just study, Cleaver. Follow his frenzy. Well, you certainly caused a good time, young Adamant. We were just about to discuss our step next steps with regarding the, this whole Cleaver situation. Oh! You must be a godly team scholar I've heard about. Good to meet you, Mr. Professor. Dr. Professor. Mr. Dr. Professor Patrick to you. Share some of that knowledge with me sometime. Now let me elaborate a little. The Pearl Clan types have a lot of respect for Cleaver. Heard heard a saddle lord of the woods. I'm sure they're Sure, they'd rather get this under control too, but it's hard for them to get come right out and ask those of the Galaxy team of all people for help. And the truth is, we and the Diamond Clan have a similar problem on our hands. A Pokemon dear to us, off in the mountains, has fallen into the same type of frenzy of Cleaver. Now, there's certainly bad blood between us and the Pearl Clan, but still. We've got, all got to share his we and that means we have to tackle our problems together. But there aren't any there aren't many capable of standing up to such a powerful Pokemon. They're the best hope we've got. You'll find Cleaver, Cleaver at the Grand Tree Arena. That's at the very hot heart of the Heartwood. His warden is a boy named Leon. Leon is a brilliant child, but also a bit, well, sometimes brilliance can be blind, you know. He will tell you all about his beloved Cleaver, whether you wish him to or not. Anyway, I'm sure you're up to the challenge, so we will, so we will be counting on you. See you later. Wow, he's... He just said his piece and vanished. He must have. He just. He must just value his time that much, I guess. Adamant and my aren't weren't wrong, you know. If you're to study what, study and perhaps even quell, Cleaver, you best, you best start visiting his abode. Now that we're off, now we've got the. Heights camp. It should be, should come in handy for getting out to Grand Tree Arena. And don't you worry about visiting pastures. Choosing your Pokemon team, team 
careful what makes the difference. All right, I head out. Find yourself unable to pick up the materials you come across. That you're always coming full. If you that sounds like you, it'd be wise to let me. Okay. Yeah, the item box. I get the item box. Okay. Yeah, listen to what he says. I know about the item box. I know how to use it. I'm not unfamiliar with these type of games. How are things, my good friend? I certainly hope you're putting that s a secret back attack back strike technique I thought you'd do good use. I haven't really used it too much. Either way, I have some super potions here just for you. Oh, think nothing of it. Having the sword of cord out and selling Pokemon is great for business, you know. And pouring you now is actually an investment in my own fortune. You obtain three super potions. All right. Now I must depart. These are there are ruins that are call just calling to me. All right, I'm gonna head to the shop. No. And store. I have to change my hair, I think. Yeah, that's right. Here. Isaac twenty five uh, seven eight seven eight thirty is good. Now we'll check this out, see what it's like. Go on ahead and have your seat. I'll put your things aside for you. Oh, then, my dear, what sort of book would you, would you go for, right? Uh, I like long. Being honest, ah, keep what I have. Go white, actually. I see. Yeah, I'll keep the black actually for that. I think that would be um, Yes. Lovely. I'll have you styled and ready in no time. Hopefully, you can lock more styles. Alright. Come back any time. Alright. Parcel. Interesting. Okay. Change my tire in here before heading out. Just want to check it.
Must ever deny a guest even the most ridiculous request. Ooh, a lot of bad actually. I like how that looks actually. Very nice. Very nice. It's very nice. Talk to you. Alright, if a Pokemon starts eyeing me, I'm I'll fling an orange berry they and run while it's distracted. Thank you for the rice. Good to have. Oh, well, over to the guy in there. I see him in the Beasel. Can we see other Pokemon too? Hopefully it's bigger. Okay. Uh, let's try this one. Okay. Gotta look for more then. Camp, I think. Oh, I can do it from there too. Okay. Do it for now. That's useful. Have some more. Alright. Sounds good. I'll save. Cool. Guy gift. This guy gift. We just got a gift. I see Kimono. Okay. Cool. Go ahead. Uh, save as well. Let's 
save at the town. Probably. I go ahead and do that. Okay. There you go. Alright, gonna explore a little more than around here a little bit, see if I can catch more, more Pokemon. Oh wow. Reefall! Whoops. Okay. Let's see if there was fall damage. There it is. that Nice. get into this when I down here oof okay oh jeez oh, 30 not not great yeah I've been a little more cautious about that oh, 10 okay, I can do this. that all right catch it now try catching it
Nice. Now the other one, you get this for the experience. Okay. Try tackling. Nice. Mushroom, eh? Ooh, Pichu. Uh, he goes away pretty soon. Or not? Okay. I just don't uh, catch another one. Sweet. Just for the heck of it. So I have extras. Nice. Try for Pichu here. Ah, okay. Now what I think. Ah. Dang it. idea I didn't want to do that yet. Yeah. I wasn't paying attention to the health bar as much as we needed to. Okay, though. Let's find another one.
Okay. See that goes. Nice. Two, push two, shrinks. A higher level than I want to, but okay, we can try it. Okay, it's good. Not bad. You got good job, shrinks. Get items. This actually. There you go. Ah, okay. Try again. Ah, okay. One more try, I think. I can have to run away, I think. I'm going to uh, oh, items fives here. Be fine now. Nice, got Pichu. Didn't even know Pichu. It's good though.
are not very effective, huh? Hey, okay. ah, jeez. Try shield, dude. Do that, okay. Nice. The zoo bat. Not very, uh, not the most interesting Pokemon, but pretty good. It's alright. I'm gonna head over to destination now. I'll find some newer Pokemon on the way. Avoid him. Okay. You can actually use that to ah uh, run. Psyduck. Abundance, I think. Okay. I have another one, I think. Formal portal. I'm gonna head back to camp. Or actually, no. I... Just uh, here. Psyduck.
Hello, hello kid. You must be Leon. I am Leon of the Pearl Clan. The warden to Cleaver, Lord of the Woods. And you, I've already deduced that you've met you've come here to meet Cleaver, am I right? Of course I am. I can see it so clearly. After all, the powerfully awesome Cleaver has become even more awesomely powerful. Perhaps that strange lightning the other day was Almighty Sinnoh's divine power. But whatever it is, it struck my lord and left him imbued with awesome might. So I must turn away, even if it pains me. It is da too dangerous for you to know for you to meet Cleaver right now. I'll do anything. <laughs> oh, so, oh, such endear, such earnest desire to meet. Meet Mighty Cleaver. I have to admit, I'm struck by your passion. But, well, I'm afraid your passion is not the real issue here. I've been told in such no uncertain terms by Rita that I am I am to let no one near Cleaver. I'll fight you off myself if you insist. If you you wish to avoid battle with Thrall now, well, you still can. Or face the face the wrath of my Gumi. I'll take you on. Alright. You you don't <laughs> That still makes me laugh. Uh You don't even realize I'm turning you away for your own Bring you away for your own safety. How sad you are. So goomy. And if see if you can ooze some good sense over this foolish troublemaker. Alright. Uh, doesn't look very intimidating to me. But we'll see. Okay, level 15. Acid armor. Okay. Anyways, with Shinx. Not very effective. Okay. Okay, I can give him a good whacking. Yeah. How you like that, Leon? How you like that, Leon? Um, camera over here, I think. Uh, let's get out of this. Alright. How can this be? I may have been defeated, but my point still stands. It's too dangerous to meet Cleaver now. The only welcome you will get if you approach him is a flurry of devastating blows. Normally, I'd simply try making him an offering. A nice heaped health, 
helping of his two favorite foods served up respect by his local, local warden. That's me, of course. I usually... It's usually enough to please him and soothe his prickliest of moods. But even I, Cleaver's loyal warden, can't get close enough to give my offerings now, not with the way Cleaver's, Cleaver's ramping and running amok. There's nothing that not so like you can do. The answers of Cleaver, Weirder, and Weirdeer, and their cohort, cohort Drew in all my all my sinos power one own power to protect Pokemon and people alike, so it said. It's by their grace that their that our clan that any of us still lives in, in vast history today. Irida, what are you doing here? As you say, flavors grow Growing even stronger, but I'm afraid that strength possesses a problem for us. If he was indeed struck by the lightning, could the bolts have been sent by the false to know that the Diamond Clan bounced, bounced, bounced to? Cleaver must. Cleaver means so much to our clan. I hope we could bring his, the situation under control ourselves, not, not throw our hands up and ask some outsider for help. But we must save Cleaver with, from this frenzy. Every moment it continues, the danger grows. If more people and Pokemon are attacked, it will lead to a conflict with both the Diamonds, Planet and the Galaxy team. You, stranger from beyond the sky. Tell me, could you galaxy people actually fix all this? Could an outsider actually find a way to quell out of Laura's frenzy? Figure out somehow. Very well. Lee and I will gather gather foods that please Cleaver in hopes that we might might be able to get close enough to make him proper proper offering. As for you, Finding a way to call his frenzy, even if you approach his, if, even if you must research every corner of vast history. The arc phone is beeping. Mysterious power now enable, enables you to return to base camps at an instance. All right. Okay. I'm gonna go to Ice Camp. Save. I gotta mess up my Pokemon. Morning. <clears throat> Gonna talk to the guard what about Pokemon. Yeah. All right. Uh. So let's see. Move here, move here, move here. I'm my Pichu. Psyduck. I keep Geodude. Do uh, Pichu. I'll do Cyndaquil. Cyndaquil. There you are. And Psyduck. duck. And you and well. 
sidekick. Oof. Ah, uh, ouch. Jinx. There you go. Just gonna keep everything in order here. Actually, yeah. How about Sukum? Alright, that looks good. Craft some items here. Be fine. Items. All right, forty is good. Yeah, I get some. Should do some revives as well. Two, okay. So, okay. Talk to you right now. Okay. I got my money. If you can rank up. So according to the information you were able to learn from Rita and Leon of the Pearl Clan, for this the normal first event that Frenzy Cleaver would be calmed by a nice serving of his two favorite foods. I do wonder. Is it possible that the aromas of some uh some other components of these suits might combine in a way that could not only calm Cleaver but draw him back to from his frenzy. But by your by your own, own report, these Cleaver's warden, who knows who looks after Cleaver and knows him well, cannot approach him in this current state. It would be a fool's gambit to get close enough to his to offer him food. Hmm. Give, give me a moment, if you would. I would I need some time to ponder on this. There, are, there ought to be something in my research notes that can help us. Eureka! We'll simply have to throw out the food. Take him that long to figure it out. Yeah. Might I suggest you take Cleaver's favorite foods and throw them at the Pokemon? Makes sense. Makes sense to me. That was the plan. Oh my gosh. Yes, it's all coming together. We can use our skill in Pokeball crafting to bait, shape cleavers, blow the food, and move them to balls. Oh, okay. Oh, I see. I see. And throw them to achieve the same calming effect from, from afar. Real idea, if I do say, my, say, say so for myself. That's for what to call these yummy reptiles. 
Oh, how about tea time balls? Put, put one in mind. Puts one in mind of a nice relaxing afternoon tea, does it? I guess so. Are you sure, Professor? They're your own invention, but I call them Lavington Balls. Oh my, with that name, it would sound like a, either one being launched at our friend who friend. In any case, we can rely on the Pearl Clan to gather the necessary foodstuffs, correct? Alright. And you should hurry back to the Grand Tree Arena and tell the Pearl Clan about our Pearl Clan about a brilliant plan. If you're off the Grand Tree Arena, best set out from the Heights camp, eh? Alright, uh... I talk to the captain really quickly to see if I can level, level up my rank. And not down here, I guess. Alright. Okay, I guess I not it needs to be more. Alright. Yeah. You can have a picture with all my current Pokemon. Picture. I get behind. Alright. I think that's going to end it for tonight. Yes, yeah, going to save. Alright. Hope everyone has a good night. Moon, hope we have a good night as well. Alright. End the stream. Have a good night.